And welcome back to News Channel. I'm Todd Vander Hayden. Canada's premier gay and lesbian film festival, Inside Out, has just kicked off in the city of Toronto. Brings together the best and brightest films and filmmakers from our country, but also from around the world. One of the films getting a lot of buzz this year is called Hooked. It explores many themes, including the issue of homelessness in the gay community. And you might not know this, but upwards of 40% of homeless young people identify as being LGBT. Hooked focuses on the character of Jack, who has to work as a male escort, struggling to navigate a dangerous world around him. Watch this clip. Get this, some guy called me a freak today, right? It's so easy to forget that we, we are the ones who are the freaks. Can you fathom the mysteries of God? The measure is longer than the earth and wider than the sea. I was wondering when this was going to get fun. And we're happy to welcome, joining us from our studios in downtown Toronto, the writer and director of Hooked, Max Emerson, who is in town from the U.S. as part of this festival. Thanks for coming on, Max. Good to have you. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you having me on. You know, putting together a film, as you have learned, of course, is a real labor of love. I, I want to get your take on why you wanted to bring this story to the screen. Well, um, for the last few years, I've been working on just developing social media channels strictly as a means of producing content that I want to make. So I've met countless producers and agents and people that want to make things, and I would send them things, and they would say, well, this is great, but do you have anything a little... Uh, less niche, a little less gay. And I didn't really, because that's not really what I knew. So um, in growing these social media platforms that I have, it's kind of proven that there's a demand for this kind of content. And since everything I've been doing has been on the really silly and free kind of side, I wanted to, to take a step into doing something more meaningful that will actually affect real change rather than just raising awareness. Yeah, it's a great point because people who are familiar with you will know you do very much have a silly side. But of course, <laughs> this kind of film really explores much darker themes as well. And I think themes that a lot of people might not necessarily associate with the LGBT community at first glance. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of things going on that I don't think people are very quick to recognize. As you said earlier, 40% of homeless youth identify as LGBT, which means that LGBT kids are eight times more likely to end up homeless. And then once they're in shelters, if they're not in a shelter that's trained to accommodate those kids, they have an eight to ten times higher rate of abuse, both, both physically and sexually. It, it gets really bad. And not only youth, there's a disproportionate amount of seniors in the gay community that are, that are homeless as well. And um, yeah, it's, it's something that our community really needs to come together and, and help each other with. There's also a certain component of violence in this movie as well, uh, which again, based on what the character Jack has to do, is not necessarily abnormal for people who end up getting into prostitution. Yeah, you're kind of on your own when you're working in that market. It's uh, given it's not a legal type of work to do, there's no real protections for you. So you're pretty much at the mercy of the people that you're dealing with. I know you've got to be proud of this film. What do you want audiences to take away, Max? Well, as of now, my main demographic is the LGBT community. So a lot of this film is for them. It's, it's a reminder and a wake up call, a call to action that we need to be doing the best we can to take care of ourselves because the current leadership in our country is not looking out for us. With festivals like Inside Out, which is just getting underway in Toronto, you know, this is an opportunity for you to come here to Canada, internationally, really, and talk about your film. And that kind of thing is really important as well, I guess, building a network uh, to get your art, to get your films out there to a larger community around the world. Yes, it's absolutely fantastic here. I'm wildly impressed with everything Inside Out is doing. In fact, I kind of want to stay. Would that be, would that be okay? <laughs> You'd like to stay in Canada? I think so, at least for the next four years. <laughs> I'm sure we can probably arrange that. What's next for you uh, in terms of your own uh, filmmaking? I mean, this is the beginning of a new career for you, possibly? I certainly hope so. This is exactly what I want to be doing with my life. I have a bunch of web content coming up, some travel stuff, um, basically just working in social media and acting and modeling until the end of the year where I plan on fundraising for another film centered around uh, bullying, narcissism. There's a theme of suicide running through it. It's a little bit lighter than Hooked, but um, it's, still, it, it's still kind of my medium for tackling things that are more important to me. Max Emerson joining us from Toronto, the writer and director of Hooked. I know the film is going to be uh, premiering tomorrow. I hope to attend. And thank you for taking time to come on the program here today, though. Max, great to have you. Thank you very much.